Hello friends, myself Mansuk Satasya. I want to give welder test knowledge what, which I have some experience. So I want to share my welder, welder test knowledge. So I am trying to give the no, uh, knowledge about which I, I have some experience. So if any correction or you, if you want to give some suggestion, it will be accepted and I will correct it because I am not 100% sure this all the things are right or wrong but I am giving my experience or I am giving my knowledge to share to you so you can understand about the welder test. My, myself is Mansuk Satasya and I have 20 years experience. I am ASNT NDT level 3 in 5 method RT, UT, NPT, BP and VT and I am located at Jamnagar, Gujarat, India and my institute is Satasya NDT Institute and I am giving the training online NDT level 2 training and as well as welding training like this and also helping to personal about the job search like this. So it, this are the my activities. So we will start about the welder test. So in the welder test we will see first normally we are doing welder test in the 6G position for a piping. So G means groove, groove means butt weld, butt weld means girth, girth is a word of ASME P31.3 code. So this is the meaning of G. And uh, if we are taking the test in the plate, so normally we are taking in 3G and 4G position. And also uh, if welder is qualified in CS means carbon steel GTAW welding, he can do welding of SS means stainless steel welding GTAW because he had given test without baking and same F number, F number is the killer metal number. If welder is qualified in SS stainless steel GTAW, he cannot do carbon steel CS GTAW welding because he had given test with baking of argon gas. During the test, we can check the root run welding. If the root is full penetration, that means 100% circumference cover, good penetration, we can allow them for a further pass, means next run, hot pass, fill up, and final, and as well as capping. So first we will check the root, if root is the penetration is good all over the circumference area we are allowing welder for next welding pass and for thickness range if welder is quali uh, qualified in any thickness if it, uh, uh, and if if welder is giving the test at any thickness he is qualified for double thickness that means if example welder is doing the test in 6g position of 6 in 5 with 7.11 mm thickness, he is qualified for 14 mm thickness. But if someone weld, some welders are doing test in above the 13 mm thickness, he is qualified for maximum to be welded for the same process. So this is the thickness range, and it is given in ASME. That means ASME section 9 also given page number 189 and for diameter range normally if welder is testing above 3 inch dia pipe he can weld up to 3 inch minimum but above maximum any dia he can weld it and if welder test is doing in 0.75 inch pipe to 2 inch pipe he can weld minimum 0.75 inch pipe as well as maximum any dia he can weld. But if welder is qualified in half inch, welder can qualify. Uh, if welder done test in half inch dia, welder can qualify in minimum 0.5 inch and above any dia. So if welder has done welding, welder test in 6 inch pipe and 2 inch pipe, but this welder can't do welding of half inch because this, for half inch he has to do again on test on half inch because half inch is a test 
it's very very tough position because during the test uh, welder hand movement is required very frequently chain as well as skip also so all welders can't do welding of half inch that's why uh, some if some welder are very good quality in half inch welding we can say this welder is very skilled welder so this skill also required during the half inch welding so this is the diameter range qualification and if some welder is given half inch pipe welding he must have to do three test coupon welding why this three test coupon because in the asme section 9 it is written that if welder is welding 150 mm welding then he is qualified for welder so half inch pipe circumference we can find out half uh, half inch od is a 21.334 so od into pi uh, we want to find out circumference so od into pi pi value is 3.14 so 21 into 3.14 so it is not reached to 150 so we will do the three test piece it will reach above the 150 that's why we have to do three test coupon for half inch qualification one test coupon for two inch qualification is enough and six inch pipe for one test coupon is also enough because this circumference are about 150 mm so normally if we are doing the in the plate test plate welding 3g and 4g position that time also we are taking the plate 150 by 150 mm that means this also we cover welder have to finish welding of minimum of 150 mm and what are the essential variable for welder test this that means it will up, there is a definition is given affect the ability of welder to deposit the sound weld metal sound weld metal that, that means good quality of weld metal so which uh, parameters are affected so parameters are change in welding process that means gtaw to smaw deletion of baking that is without purging with purging f number filler metal number that means uh, car carbon steel filler wire to ss filler wire like this but f number is same for gtaw but f number is change in for smaw pipe dia so pipe dia i already explained here thickness means uh, thickness range also is i already explained here position means 6g position welder can weld all the position of the pipe as well as plate also so this is the position also is important and progression there is a two type of progression uphill progression normally we are using in the unit piping we can say refinery piping we can say power piping but downhill welding this are using in pipeline that means cross country pipeline so pipeline we are using downhill downhill means from uh, top to bottom means welder will start welding from top and go to bottom uphill, uphill welding means welder will start welding from bottom and go to upside so this is the uphill also p number means parent metal number if the metal change welder have to give the another test current means DC or AC because normal we are welding with DC current but in the aluminum welding they, they are using AC current so keep in mind this current also is the essential variable for welder polarity DC EN and DC EP DC EN is used in the GTW that means DC power supply direct current electrode negative used in the GTW welding DC EP direct current electrode positive used in a SMW welding. So <laughs> essential variable for uh, GTW and SMW are given in SME section 9 and also uh, visual inspection our points are given in QW 194. So in that it is written crack is not acceptable in complete penetration is not acceptable lack of fusion is not acceptable that means during the first root run we can say this welder can continue welding this welder cannot continue welding due to 
these three reasons. But crack will not happen normally. Incomplete penetration is the most point of rejection. So keep in mind, the incomplete penetration is not acceptable during the welding of the welder test. ND of welder test means radiography. Normally we are doing as per QW 142 as well as 190. And if a welder we have to uh, test for the civil work that means uh, round bars welding like this. So normally in India we are uh, following IS7037 Indian standard 7037 code we are using. And uh, if a welder is failed during the test as uh, in the visual examination as well as the radiographic examination there are two more tests we can allow for them for a retest but before giving the retest we are telling to welder please do the some practice and uh, two to three days if you are confident then give the test otherwise it will be again rejection and you will be the demoralized so keep him as a moralized and keep him a uh, positive way we can say please do your best way and uh, do the do the practice and uh, take, take care of your own confidence confidence is the main point in the during the test so, and uh, if uh, we are following iso we are following the for iso code is 9606-1 and during the welder test uh, if uh, our well jo uh, production joints are with pitting or pwst and the test we can omit it heating or PWST during the test because it is given in the section 9. So no need to require preheating or PWST during the test. It is not a mandatory requirement. And keep in mind one more thing also if we are doing stainless steel welder test we have to use low chloride marker to mark welder number or something on the pipe welder test. So this matter low chloride marker to be available at welder test area or no grinding allowed on the welder test on the weld area that means uh, if uh, sometimes porosity is there we can say please keep it as it is please don't do the grinding we will check in the radiographic field if, if it is acceptable we will accept it otherwise we can <coughs> give a rejection and uh, after the acceptance of radiographic film of a welder test coupon, normally we will send the welder to site and we will tell them please do one FPJ that means first production joint at site. So after the first production welding at site, we will do the radiography and we will check the radiography. If the radiography film is okay of the FPJ joint, we, we can allow welder to do the work at site and we are giving issuing welder certificate as well as welder card so i have i have tried to give on my best of knowledge and uh, if some there is a comment you can give me comment i will accept it and i will correct it i am not sure i am 100 percent correct but maybe something may be missing and i will add on my knowledge thank you friends thanks guy thank you